Hi, my name is Sam, and in this session, I'm going to talk about interaction attendant access modes. This is my interaction attendant. Attendant is basically the tool that is used to configure your call flow. Depending on your needs, sometimes you may want to have full attendant access to your server. At other times, you may just want to study your attendant call flow without running the risk of making unintentional changes to it. You can even open your attendant in a mode which will allow you to make changes, but you may not want to publish your changes just yet, as the server might be currently in use or is being used by someone else. When you run the attendant program, you can choose from one of the two access modes. You can have a full access or a read-only access. With a full access mode, you can save your changes to the server. For read-only mode, again, it is divided into two different types. We have number one, read-only, and number two, read-only with offline editing. Next, I'm going to show you how to access these different modes in Interaction Attendant on my server. This is my IC server, and when I run the Interaction Attendant program, by default, it will go into a full access mode. Notice that with the full access mode, I can add operations to the server and I can also save my changes. Let me disconnect the attendant from my server and I'll show you how to run attendant in a read-only mode. All right. The attendant has been disconnected from my server and when I reconnect to the server, let me put in the authentication information. As you can see here, you are given the option to connect to the server using read-only access. To connect to the server using read-only mode, check this read-only setting, hit OK. And as you can see here, attendant is connected to the server as read-only. With this read-only access, I am not able to make any changes to the server. Next, I'm going to show you how to connect to the server using attendant read-only offline editing mode. Reconnect to the server, put the authentication information in, and this time check with offline editing. Say yes. This is interaction attendant with offline editing mode. As you can see here, I can add operations to the attendant. Only difference is I am not able to save my changes. Be aware that even though I cannot save changes to this server, I can, however, package my changes to be imported to a full access server later. So in summary, this is the attendant with full access mode. This is the attendant with read-only mode, stated here, read-only. And this is the attendant with offline editing mode, where you can actually make changes and package your changes to be imported later. This concludes our lesson today. Thank you for watching.